Hi, my name is Kylie, and today I'm going to be teaching you about how to care for a bottle calf. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. This is our bottle calf, Bambi. She was born here to one of our cows who's a first time mother and the mom didn't know exactly what to do with Bambi at first. She was doing a pretty good job, um, but not taking great care of her. And then Bambi got a little sick. And that's when the mom really decided that she wasn't gonna care for Bambi. So we had to step in and take care of her. So we brought her in and we started to bottle feed her and she got scours from that. Usually once a cow drinks from the mom, if you try to move them over to a bottle, they do get diarrhea. And so she got scours and that really messed with her gut and it really, she was not doing well after that. So we just had to keep trying to feed her and get her back hydrated and get her a lot better. Um, and it took a while, it took about three days, but after those three days, she started doing a lot better. And so now she's great. She's a normal, happy calf. And so, yeah, she's doing awesome. A mother cow will reject a calf for many different reasons. Um, first off, if the cow's sick, and that's what happened in Bambi's case, is she was not doing well, so the mom decided to reject her. There are a lot of times that if a calf um, is not doing well, the mom just won't take care of them because they know it's no use. And then also there are other times that the mom doesn't know what to do. Also in Bambi's case, her mom didn't know exactly what to do with Bambi. So she did reject her for that as well because she didn't know what she was doing. They can, also the mom can get sick and not decide to care for them. The mom can die during birth. And the babies, they do have to learn how to um, live without a mother. And so that's why people step in and we have to become their moms and care for them. And we have to spend a lot of time with them as well to make sure that they, they feel comfortable with us and they feel like they're loved just like they would with their mom. One of the most important parts about having a bottle calf is feeding. With Bambi, we use a formula, so it comes in a powder, and we mix it with warm water. All the instructions comes on the back of the bag, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. So with her, we use a calf bottle, and we mix it up, and because she's a miniature calf, we feed her with a lamb nipple. Usually you'd use a calf nipple, but with her, because she's a miniature calf, we do use a lamb nipple, because it's a little bit smaller. We'll feed her about twice to three times a day, depending on how hungry she is. Uh, usually you'll only feed them twice a day, but because she's really skinny, we really wanna get that weight back on her. So we do feed her three times a day, most, most of the days. When you have a bottle calf, you really wanna make sure that their housing is comfortable. You can either keep them inside or outside. The most important thing is just to keep them out of the elements. So if they're inside, usually people will actually put diapers on them and let them just run around the house. We put her in a bin and we had newspaper and towels at the bottom for her. But when they're normal calves and they're walking around normally, you'll want probably a diaper because they will get, they'll start jumping out of the bin and being very hyper. Bambi lives in the barn now in an X-Pen like this. She has towels on the ground to keep her nice and comfy when she sleeps. And we keep her in a barn stall so that she's out of the elements. When a bottle calf has lost its mother, it is very important to make sure that they still get enough interaction. So you wanna make sure that you spend lots of time with them and make sure that they feel very loved and just sitting with them, playing with them, if they're gonna be cooperative, because sometimes they're not, but making sure they go on walks and just have plenty of exercise is very good for them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed learning all about how to care for a bottle calf. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave comments about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see you back on the ranch.